Hello and welcome to the Queber channel. I am Jason, your host. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I wanted to talk about something here now. To make something clear. I have been accused of self-pity. Even thinking about it makes me laugh. It doesn't matter who said it, no, at all. That's a non-issue. But I just wanted to make clear to people why I do what I do. The first part is therapy. When I talk to the camera, when I talk to you like this, it helps me. It's like having a permanent therapist. I do more of it with my people on um, the server than I do here. But this helps a lot. When I wake up in the morning, whatever's going on in here, whatever screwed up situation my brain has decided on, When I get it out of here and put it on to the thingy, it's almost like I'm taking that, that memory away, that discussion, that hassle, that energy, and I'm getting rid of it. It's going on there. I hardly ever remember what I've actually said on there and after I've said it. It helps a lot. And also I get to take it out of the echo chamber that is in my head. Out there in case there's anybody who can tell me this is not right or thing like that. But the second part and the part that really drives me with this. Is Paula. I've never needed any pity when it comes to Paula. I got to spend 20 years with a fucking amazing woman. I did. Yeah, I wanted more. Yeah, it was challenging, but I got to spend 20 years. A lot of people never get that. But Paula taught me early on that helping others helps you. And that's what she did. She would always be there to listen to anybody who was having problems. Issues. No matter what they were. And whenever she went into hospital. Or went to Douglas McMillan. She would always talk about her. Cancer to people. I always wouldn't how much pain that caused her now I know but she did it because she didn't want anybody to feel alone and isolated that's where the lessons came from I have dealt with a lot of shit in my life I'm not special it's never been about oh look at poor me it has never been about that when I talk about depression, when I talk about mental illness, when I talk about autism, when I talk about money, when I talk about anything, the tr primary drive behind it is because I hope that someone out there dealing with something like I have can actually say, hey, I can relate to that. I'm not alone. And I know that works because the amount of people that have watched my vlogs and gained inspiration or actually said thank you because it reminded them of something they needed to know, that they weren't alone, is quite a lot. I've always said that the most 
amazing thing one person can do for another person is make a difference for them. Talking about, this is why therapy exists and all that, because talking about stuff like this does actually help. Now, some people will always, I will always have my haters. But that's okay. I don't... expect people always to believe the same way in fact i value other opinions when i go out on my scooter i always try to show what is possible because i always want people who are dealing with this kind of thing because one of the worst things about depression and Disability is isolation. And a lot of the people dealing with it that I don't have a voice, who can't speak up, who don't who can't do that, who can't put it into words. I speak for them. So that people don't forget what it's like to deal with this shit. When I say I'm not special, I mean that there is a fucking so many people dealing with pain and suffering to do with mental illness. There's so many hidden disabilities. There's so many broken people, da damaged people that aren't understood. That's why I do this. I don't have any hidden agenda. I don't make any money out of it. Fucking hell. And yeah, sometimes I do. I can answer the question that I always thought about powers. Does it hurt you to have to keep bringing it up? Does it hurt you to know that, to be reminded every time when you talk about your cancer that you're dying? Does it hurt you? Yes, it does. Having illnesses that you know will never go away, that will always change, and one day you might not be able to stop them. One day you might not be able to find a coping strategy that works. That one day I might end up on heavily medicated. That's not a fun thought. But I don't think I'm anywhere, anywhere near that. Don't worry about that. Because I have all of you. And I have my Discord. And I have all my coping strategies. I'm so fucking lucky to know so many awesome people. And so, yeah... Even when I'm dead, even if even when I'm dead and gone, my vlogs on YouTube, the legacy I've got is that someday in the future, someone who's going through depression, someone who's dealing with bipolar, someone who's dealing with autism as an adult may be searching on YouTube for videos and might find one of my videos. And it might help them. And to me, that's a fucking amazing legacy to have. This is Jason for the Quiver Channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and have a reason to smile. <laughs>